Today on Toy Shoes, Batman's got a brand new whip. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Batman Curse of the White Knight Bat Cycle. If you've not checked out Batman White Knight, Curse of the White Knight, Harley Quinn, whatever Sean Gordon Murphy is rocking these days, definitely check it out. On the back side of the box, a couple cross sells, a couple new figures, including some trading card art. I like that they're doing the pictures of the action figures now, more so than the artwork. It just reminds me of the old Spawn, the art file toy card. So for me, that's why I definitely am digging it. Here is the barcode as well. These are starting to hit Target stores now. And that's where I picked mine up. It'll set you back about 25 bucks. And like I said, if you haven't checked out any of the Sean Gordon Murphy, Black Label, Batman, White Knight, Curse of the White Knight books, do yourself a favor, just for the artwork alone. It is very cool. And this bat cycle definitely looks like it drove right out of the artwork. It is spectacular, and I'm really excited to see how my Batman White Knight figure sits on top. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Batman Curse of the White Knight, the Bat Cycle by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here is the Bat Cycle all out of the packaging with my previous Batman White Knight figure riding atop, and it looks like it's straight from the artwork. McFarlane Toys did a great job on this. It looks fantastic all around. I love the details that they've achieved on this vehicle. A vehicle for your seven inch scale figures. That's pretty darn cool. It's got weathering. It's got big exhaust ports on it. It's got huge tires that spin. Batman largely fits on there. We'll talk about that in just a second. But I love the front of it, the tires, the way that all of it just kind of flows and meshes together. That's very, very cool. And on the sides, yes, the detail is there. And the fact that his cape kind of sits over the wheel, I'm just saying, gives me anxiety. It's like it's going to get sucked up in there. Whatever. Comic books, right? But at the same time, the detail is there. You can see the engines. You can see all the inner workings of this bat cycle. The handlebars. Everything on it is done. Very, very cool. I'm very happy with the way it looks. And I especially love the way the tires are done. Huge, clunky rubber tires. The back wheel is very cool. And you can do all kinds of Batman things. It's just very Kenner-ish. Now, moving into McFarlane. And on the bottom, not much going on, but the front, it's got a very cool extending mechanism. To be all dramatic, right? And you simply just click it in on the sides and the bat cycle goes from smooshed to elongated. And when you're done with it, just kind of simply pinch right here and it just pushes right back in. So you have a more compact bat cycle. And I love that the Sean Gordon Murphy Batman just scales oh so beautifully with this bat cycle. Now keep in mind one thing, this Batman only has one open hand, the other one is a fist. So he can only hold the handlebars technically with one hand, you can kind of fudge it a little bit, but at the same time, yeah, maybe he's punching a bad guy when he's driving by, I don't know. You can also do the Target exclusive, more comic book cover type White Knight figure. Yeah, the Batman fits on there just oh so nicely and like i said you fit him on the cycle maybe you can do a drive-by punching or something to that degree other batmans fit on this as well some will fit better than others in all aspects they're kind of a little bit off the seat even the white knight figure however the arkham knight arkham asylum batman he looks good on there as does the mcfarlane one however because of the crotch piece you can't really get the feet all the way up just saying the cape is a little bit too heavy in the sense of it doesn't glide just perfectly like the other Batmans, but you can sit him on top and he looks stylish, even to the extent of the Batman 1000 figure. I know, I know this is not everyone's favorite cup of tea right here, but you can have him holding both of the handles. His cape can billow over the back of the tire. He looks cool. And in kind of the same fashion as the McFarlane Batman, the Grim Knight, you can't really get his legs all the way up. They all look good riding it, but some are more naturalistic than others. And you can also get other characters. You don't want to go the Batman route? Go the Red Hood route. Yeah, I could see him rocking this Bat Cycle. So in that sense, I think he definitely 
works. You'll find a figure you like. Even Terry McGinnis, maybe he borrowed it from the Batcave. He's going to go take down Ian Peak or something. I don't know, but you can figure it out. And he looks cool riding it. As far as scale goes, this is actually the largest bat cycle thus far. Yeah, we've gotten two bat cycles, which is really awesome, especially when you extend this thing. It is a big vehicle, but it looks good. And if you were wondering as far as the first Batmobile that came out, the more crouched down kind of one, yeah, it's totally bigger than that one now. So they are making the vehicles bigger and better. But when you have all of the White Knight figures, all of Sean Gordon Murphy's artwork, that McFarlane toys have brought to life it looks great you got a vehicle now for your figures so in that sense I love it this is something that really resonates with me but in either sense I definitely recommend this I think McFarlane toys did a great job I'm a big fan of the White Knight Sean Gordon Murphy artwork series so in that sense I absolutely love the look of this Batmobile now it may not be everyone's cup of tea in terms of being specifically based on one comic book property for Batman. However, you can put other Batmans, other characters. I'm sure you can even fit other brands, something like that. We're gonna stick to McFarlane Toys for today, but if you're interested in this Bat Cycle, I'm sure you can go as far as to figure it out once you find one for yourself. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Bat Cycle. Are you getting one? Have you already gotten one? And which Batman do you plan on putting atop? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Sean and Gordon Murphy's Batman White Knight series. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I am really interested, really looking forward to whatever Sean Gordon Murphy's cooking up with old Batman Beyond in his White Knight series. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.